NFTV Extra. Hello everyone from Blackwell Meadows where Newcastle Under 23s have actually came away with a fantastic performance but not just that, a great win, winning 3-1 here. What a performance by Chris Hogg's men. Now, last week when they played Harrogate, put in a brilliant performance. Kyle Cross obviously scoring the goal, only 16 years of age. But today, to go out there and have two separate teams, because the first, the first half, you had three of the lads who played for the... Well, I say played. Obviously, McIntyre didn't get off the bench, but three of the lads who were involved in the win for the first team against Doncaster last night featured. And then in the second half, you seen one of the lads, uh, which was Jack Young, play 45 minutes but going into the first half it was a it was a back four and then the second half Chris Hogg changes to a back five and went the wing back similar to what the first team do um, first half um, a lot of the player was coming down Newcastle's left side I love the link up with Matty Bondswell who made his debut for the first team uh, last night and the link up with him and Adam Wilson was class very like like literally you could you could mix the two up you really could the both energetic pace he's out the both of them got blistering pace down that left flank the interaction that's exciting to see if adam wilson can stay fit for the season that'll be interesting to see that relation because there's talent there on that left flank that can cause damage that that's what i like obviously newcastle did score through tom allen cutting in on the right hand side with his left foot bottom corner to go into the break one up and i thought you know what newcastle probably deserve this um, good first half. The second half, Chris Hogg switched it around. Completely different 11. Completely different 11. So when the changes were made, we switched to wing backs, as I say. I was looking forward to seeing how Joe White would get on. Uh, his performance in the second half, uh, cutting through passes. You can see there's talent there. He's a passer there, low, low gravity. But a couple of them didn't, didn't pull off, but you can see he was breaking through. Jack Young, very neat on the ball, very neat and tidy. You can see why Bruce wants to look at him. Dylan Stevenson. You know, he's came from the under-18s the last 18 months. He grabbed a brace, so he'll be knocking on the door to be first-choice striker because we know that Cameron Ferguson um, was signed. He played the first half, son of Duncan. Some nice touches, but for me, lacks a bit of meat on the, on the body, if that makes sense. Very slim. I want to see him get in the, get in the box a bit more. Um, and in the second half, man, the match for me is Rosé Longello. What a performance on that right wing, man. Unreal. What a performance, man. You know, I've, I've not not so much criticised that the, the time for him, I thought, would be this summer to move on. But if you put, but if you put some performances like that on the right wing, you remember his left foot, he was just going past players at ease. So easy, strong as well. I thought he was sensational. my man the match today. Although Stevenson got a couple of goals, that was outstanding. Absolutely outstanding performance by him. More of it, please. More of it. But the under-23s, as I say, brilliant performance to come here down the road to beat... Their first team, Darlington, um, they had Luke Charman up top, who used to play, funny enough, for the under-23s. He didn't get a sniff today, but, um, you know, there's a couple of people still injured with the under-23s. So, the goes to show you this performance. Very, very pleasing. It really is. Look forward to how, the, how they'll get on next week. Ta-ra, everyone. Bye-bye. Oh, and stay tuned for the match vlog. That's coming later, too. Bye.